from uh, you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Jose and Patricia here, and we will just want to say welcome. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Where well, we honor God, love family, serve others, pursue excellence. Yeah. And we have a passion for God and a passion for souls. We got to yes. do this on a daily basis. Amen. Just have a passion for it as you go out into the world. You know, spend time with Him before you go into the world because I tell you, if you're not prepared, Mm -hmm. enemy the world is going to have you in a heartbeat amen so hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord and welcome to our NBC family all our visitors and all of you that are joining us by audio and video prepare yourselves to receive god has something for you you know never exclude yourself include yourself listen to this yeah. he's not finished with you he's got great plans for you all we need to do is make ourselves available. Amen. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. Because that's what he wants us to do. It's yes. the enemy that tries to steal, kill, and destroy. It's the enemy that keeps us away. It's the enemy that is the accuser of the brethren. Yes. You're not good enough. You've no. sinned. And that sin is good. God's finished with you. No, he's not. Mm -hmm. You know what he wants you to do? He wants you to come to him, confess, repent, and he says, Okay, now it's time to get up and let's go. Amen. So if you've been sitting all this time, it's time that you just give it to the Father and press on. Because you know what? He's not going to take his call from you. He's not going to take those gifts from you. That's it. So we got to do something with it. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, when that, run, when that quarterback gives that ball to the running back, he, he, he's, he, he's not finished yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's going to go block or he's going to get out of the way. And that running back has got to do something with the ball. We need to do something with this gospel. Amen. Amen. We can get it in us, but we got to speak it out. Amen. Yes. We got to speak the word. It's got to come out of us. And guess yes. what? The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Don't let the spirit of fear over on you. We walk by faith. And not by sight. Yeah, I know you, it was up here somewhere. It was somewhere. <laughs> but we walk by faith and not by sight. Mm -hmm. We're children of God. Mm -hmm. We don't walk by fear. We walk by mm -hmm. faith. And when you walk in faith, fear has to go. The Bible says, submit yourself to God. Resist him, the devil. And he's got to go. Resist him. Amen. Amen. He's not giving us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. I can't do it on my own. But with God, with God, all things are possible. Oh yeah. man, somebody needed that. Maybe yeah. I do. <laughs> but still, make yourself available. Remember that you can do all things through Christ all who strengthens you. Not only that, but greater is he that is in you Amen. than he that is in the world. Where is he? He's in you. You're a child of God. If he confessed him as Lord and Savior, uh -huh. he is in you. You've got the Holy Spirit in yes. you. Amen. Woo. Greater, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And this is what he wants you to know also. You're a winner. You're uh -huh. a champion. You're an overcomer. Yes. He didn't make you to lose. He made you to win. Yes, he did. So we need to get ourselves right. We need to get ourselves in the spirit. We got to uh, renew our minds to the word of God and walk in the right attitude. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of the King. I can do all things through Christ. We got to remind ourselves all these yes. things because the enemy is constant. Remember, yeah. I've got a, a slide for you <laughs> that says, you know, part-time believer is no uh -huh. match to a full-time devil. No, he is true. consistent, persistent. Yes. Amen. And we have to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. We got to be consistent persistent amen. amen and let the word flow out of you say oh i can't i can't i can't well <laughs> when we get upset at the world you know a lot of things we let go of negative words evil words cuss words all these other things so if you can do that let's do let's uh -huh. let the word of god flow out of us you amen. know what the enemy is afraid of he's afraid of how much of a word you got in you he's afraid of you speaking out the word of God because it's the word of God that puts them on the run. Uh -huh. And submit yourself to God. Resist them. How are we going to resist them? By the words coming out of you. Are they positive or are they negative? Mm -hmm. Amen. We're capable of doing both. But yes. if you're in God, you're going to confess what the word of God. Amen. So Amen. let's grab the word and let's uh, make this declaration together. Amen. I'm yeah. already in, in a preaching mode here. <laughs> <laughs> Declaration. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess 
My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. And where's the battlefield? The battlefield is the mind. So we got to get our minds right with what the Word of God says. Regardless of what people say, regardless of what your enemy says, you know, you're no good. You won't do this. You can't do that. You know, you ain't qualified for this. The world will tell you that all the time. All the time. What's the word of God says? Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand on what the word of God says. You know, sometimes I've heard ministers say, when I stand on the word, I put my Bible down and I stand on it. <laughs> That's not what they're talking about. Get the word in you. <laughs> hey, I'm going to stand What are you doing? I'm standing on the word. I'm standing on my Bible. <laughs> Get it in you. And you know what? When you need it, it's going to float out. And you know what? Don't be ashamed of it. To let it out. You know, when I was growing up, I had eight brothers and six, seven sisters. So we was a big family. And I couldn't wait, you know, to grow up so I could stop cussing. I know you guys are real holy, but uh, this is passing. <laughs> man, I couldn't wait to be a man. We you know when I was able to cuss, they don't oh, make me a man. That's terrible. And you know what? I, I learned a lot of words and I still know them, but now I got a guard on my mouth. And I won't let them out. I can thank them, but that's not going to bless God. That's not going to bless mm -hmm. the person that you want to cuss out. Or yourself. Amen. Or myself. Mm -hmm. And why do you allow negative things to come? No, I'm not giving a place to it. So I'm just not going to say it. If you don't say it, don't worry about it. But renew your mind. We're talking about spiritual battle. The battlefield of the mind is there. Renew your mind with the Word of God. Yeah. Amen. Get the Word of God in you and renew your mind with the Word. Amen. Amen. So you won't say those negative things. Well, I had to say it. <laughs> you didn't have to say it. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Well, I've got a nugget for you. Let me, let me read it to you. It goes like this. We're talking about we're talking about uh, God is bigger. Mm -hmm. We talked about last week, this is God is bigger too. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, this uh, scripture break goes like this. Stop limiting God. It's time to quit limiting God. God has more in store for you. Amen? We just say, well, you know, just a little bit, just to get by and by and by. Well, he's going to bless you. Mm -hmm. And as long as he's blessing you, you take it. You know, it's going to make God, uh, the, the enemy jealous. Yeah. And it's going to make others around you jealous. Mm. But let God bless you. God has more in store for you. God is your source. God, yes. uh, God's mm. creativity and resources are unlimited. That's God it. is not limited by what you have or don't have. All things are possible through Him. Amen. What's impossible for us is possible through Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you're a child of God. And God has got you on a mission. And guess what? He's going to make everything possible. He's going to supply all the needs needed yes. for you to f fulfill and complete what He wants you to do. Amen. We limit ourselves. You let people, don't let people or anything limit you. That's it. That's not what the Word of God says. I'm not receiving that. Amen. Well, let's go on. God um, can do anything if you will stop limiting Him. Uh -huh. Whatever, uh, whatever uh, long line of uh, personal problems, failures, uh -huh. setbacks, depressions, oh mediocre, mediocrity mm -hmm. you have. And you know what? People, God, I mean, well, let's say it like this. God uses people, but so does the enemy. Yes. And yes. the enemy is going to bring people. First, mm -hmm. he's going to put negative thoughts in you mm -hmm. about you're not good enough, you're not qualified, and whatever else. If if you start listening to these things, mm -hmm. you know that's not God. That's it. Because he says, I come that you might have life and yeah, have it more abundantly. The enemy comes to steal, <gasps> kill, and destroy. And it's going to be negative. Mm -hmm. So he's going to want to limit you. And if the, the if it's not in your mind, he's going to bring people, ungodly people around you to let you know these jealous people that say, see oh, you boy. succeeding, but don't want you to succeed. Uh -huh. So they're going to come around and, and tell you, you know, it's time to back off, you know. You, you're pressing with this too much. It's time that you take a break. Mm. You know, hey, let's go. You know, we, we used to hang out and do this mm -hmm. and do that. Amen. So the enemy is going to see to it that 
He said, Christ, we have all these kinds of people to come around and, and try to distract you. Yeah. So you won't pursue God anymore. Amen. Oh, come on. I'll preach a many amen in me now. <laughs> you need to say enough is enough. Yeah. Break out of that cycle and change your expectations. Start being, start believing God for bigger and better things. Yeah. God yeah. wants you to do a new thing in your life. God wants to do a new thing in your life. You know, we're always thinking about the past. And we're always trying to fix the past. But you know, let it go. When you confess it, it's gone. Amen. So now we're in the now, 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 now. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow's got enough worries about itself. Oh, yeah. Today has got enough worries. Mm -hmm. Okay. So don't worry about tomorrow. Just think about being. Pe we're people of now. Yes. <laughs> Be in the now. Uh, let me see where I was. Start believing God for bigger and better things. God wants to do a new thing in your life. You must. Mm -hmm. You must do your part and get outside of that small box you're grown accustomed to mm -hmm. um, you know we get get accustomed to we get complacent uh, i think the bible says uh a lukewarm <laughs> you know we try to please the world we try to please god and we try to we can't dance with with both you know <laughs> we got to let go of the world we got to let go of a lukewarm we got to let go of a cold but he, he even he says he says i really be hot or cold mm -hmm. but not lukewarm so we got to let that go mm -hmm. and we got to press on I guarantee you when you're doing a job you want to do yeah. what you need to do and you got to stay focused on what you're doing yeah. well we're, God has called to you if nobody ever told you now you know God has a call on your life but he's yeah. equipped you to be a winner he's equipped you to succeed uh -huh. but you got to spend time with him and spend time with him so that he, you can get direction so that you can know what the word of god says about you well he don't talk to me well once in a while open this uh yeah. <laughs> bible and read it and he talks to you all yes, the time he he's all talking time. to you amen so bible says you can do all things through christ you can do anything and everything he wants you to do but we got to stay busy and focused on him amen but the world and everything else distractions are going to come and we got to know when the enemy is busy trying to stop us you know you can't stop you unless you allow yourself to be stopped yes, amen Woo, hallelujah I'm excited. You yes. there you go thank you Carmen. there's a couple of those god is bigger go to the next one <laughs> God is yeah. bigger. <laughs> God is bigger than. Okay, and then we're, we got some things to add on to here. Uh -huh, God uh -huh. is bigger than. Uh -huh. And you know, your thens and your, your problems are different than mine. But still, our God is bigger. Uh -huh. And we need to know what the Word of God says. We yeah. got to know the Word so that we don't get into that and mm -hmm. get out of that right. rut. Amen. Yes. Get out of that hole mm -hmm. that we've crawled ourselves into. You know, mm -hmm. when you start speaking the word, you're going to come out. Yes. Amen. Because nothing can hold you down except That's yourself. It. Or you it. give in to what the world is saying or what the enemy is saying. Mm -hmm. But man, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not. You can't hold me down. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're coming out. Yes. It's just a few. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you haven't seen my list. <laughs> you haven't seen my list. Oh, here we go. I've got it right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Here's my list. God is bigger than your failures. Uh -huh. And you know, the world, people, sometimes even family, but <laughs> friends, the enemy is going to bring enough people around you to let you know how many times you failed. Oh, yeah. Why you want to do this now? You know you're, you know you're a loser and you know you're a failure. Why Why do it? You know, people are going to look at you and laugh at you. Yeah. But God is bigger than your failures. Mm -hmm. God is bigger than your fears. Amen. He put lots of fears. You know, when you look at some of the Bible heroes, they had fears. But they submitted themselves to God. And God made it possible. You think uh, uh, Jonah was happy in the belly of the fish? I'm sure he was fearful. Well, he was fearful when they said, well, we're going to throw you overboard. Mm -hmm. He said, man, I'm going to drown. I'm going to fail. 
God is bigger. He already had a fish ready. Mm -hmm. That's how big God is. Amen. He's uh, your fears. He's bigger than your mistakes. Any of you ever made mistakes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay, you know what? I can count my hands and, and all my toes. And I still mm -hmm. need more fingers and more toes. <laughs> but still, he's bigger than your mistakes. And you know what? Here's the thing. He knows all these things about you. And he loves you the most. Mm -hmm. The people will give up on you. After just a few. <laughs> but not, not God. Amen. You know, the prodigal son said, you know, hey. <laughs> Give me what's mine and I'm out of here, you know. And he did. And he went and blew it. And guess what? Then he started thinking, you know, I got better. I got, I, I, I can have a better life with at home. Yeah. You watching, you listening. You know you've been running from God. And it's time to come home. You know, you've done what you've done. But still, God is just waiting for you to turn, make that turnaround and come back. The prodigal son says, if I can only go back to Father's house. And guess what? Father was doing every day. He'd go out there and he'd look. Waiting for son to come back. That's what God was waiting for you to just forget about what's in the past. He said if you confess, he is faithful and just to forgive you of all the past, all the sins, and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. But you have to confess with your mouth. Don't let somebody keep you down, keep you away from doing these things. It says... You know, he won't forgive you. That's a lie. That's a lie. You know, that's not what the word of God says. Amen. Yeah. Woo, man. Amen. Well, so all of us have made mistakes. But still, you know, some of the, some of the disciples, uh, Peter told, uh, you know, they said, hey, you're one of them. He says, no, I don't. He said, before the clock froze, he was ready to kill somebody for, for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus said before the cock crows three times, he said, you'll deny me. Mm -hmm. And he'll deny and deny him three times. Yes. Amen. And when they were pulling, taking Jesus, Jesus turned and Peter looked. And they looked at each other and he didn't have to say anything. He says, I remember what Jesus said. And he wept. But you know, God, Jesus wasn't finished with him. He chose Peter to go and preach and thousands, thousands, thousands came to Christ. So he's not giving up on you, regardless of what people say. It's only the beginning. Amen. We've only started. So let's get busy for him. Amen. Let's get. Yes. Uh, he's bigger than your insecurities. You know, in this world, you got to be qualified or you're disqualified or whatever insecurities you have. God has not given us this. God has not given us a spirit of fear. That's it. Of insecurities. He's given us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Confess the word and build yourself up in the word of God. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. That's and keep it. that armor, whole armor of God on. Amen. Because the enemy is busy. Who? Yes, he is. Somebody told me about this one. He's bigger than your procrastination. I don't no. even know what procrastination is. <laughs> But you know, uh, you well, know. I, I, I better not say what, I, what, what I'm thinking. You know. <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow. Figure out. <laughs> Procrastination. You know what? Hey, we all get in the habit of saying, hey, you know what? Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mañana, mañana, mañana. You know, it's always mañana. And you know, tomorrow comes, and guess what? It's always uh -huh. Manana. And tomorrow, it's just, forget it. But we keep putting it off and putting it off. When you come to Christ, oh, manana. Uh -huh. Tomorrow, tomorrow, you know. Oh, we we, we got to get out of this. This is, uh, it's, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a good thing, you know, because <laughs> he's, draw, he's coming closer. He's getting closer and he's coming. So we need to get ourselves right before he comes. And you know why? You need to get yourself right because he's got a call for you. Mm -hmm. He's anointed you. He's equipped you mm -hmm. with everything to fulfill what he's called you to do. Amen. But you got to spend time with him yes. so that you know what he wants you to do. Mm -hmm. He wants you to be a minister of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's gifted you different than he's gifted me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm not jealous. Don't be jealous of how God has gifted people. That's it. Amen. But they need to 
learn about him, receive him, and start using those gifts mm -hmm. to bless him, Amen. to honor him. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Woo. Man, praise God. God. Thank bless him, Lord. Bless him, bless him. <laughs> He's bigger than your complacencies. Mm -hmm. He's bigger than your sin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So we've all sinned. Guess what? If, if I'm pointing fingers at you, I got four pointing back at me. We've all sinned. But you know, we need to confess it to him. Amen. And uh, I think I've shared this with you before, but I'm going to say it again. When you've accepted Christ in your life, you become a child of God. He's your heavenly father. I'm his child. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're born again and you sin again, which you will, <laughs> still, all you have to do is confess it to That's him. It. But don't go around calling yourself a sinner That's again. It. That's it. He says, confess it to him. You know, mm -hmm. you're not a sinner. Mm -hmm. I may have sinned, but I, I'm going to confess it, give it to him, and press on from there on. You know, That's it. don't just, you're out of the game. You know, you're out of well, this game. You know, you, you can't be used anymore. No. Mm -hmm. That's not the case. That's it. Just get that mess out of the way, mm -hmm. confess it, and press on. Amen. Ooh, man. And you're going to step in, step, press on in faith. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm forgiven. And thank you. Yeah. I'm going to do all things through Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. To Him and for Him. Yeah. I ain't even turned my face yet. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. God is bigger. Yes. So, whatever the bigger is, mm -hmm. bigger than. Got a few more. Turn it, Carmen. There we go. God is bigger than your past, your pain, your yes. anger, your fears, your scar. God is bigger than this world. Amen. I mean, whatever else you need to put on there, you know, but he's mm -hmm. bigger than your past. And the enemy is going to use this against you. People are going to use this against you, you know. Mm -hmm. You never amounted to anything. You never will. Amen. They limit you. Yes, they do. Amen. They judge you. Yeah. But you know... <laughs> When you confess it to him, it's done. It's yes. in the past. And it says, you're a new creature in Christ. The yes. old is gone, the new is in. Yes. Amen. So if people are still holding it against you, mm -hmm. that's their problem. Mm -hmm. But you can just say, hey, the enemy comes and accuses mm -hmm. you. And says, Wait, I confess it to my God. Mm -hmm. So if you got problems with that, go talk to him. Yeah. Do you think he's going to go? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> Keep going. Well, it says Jeremiah 32, 17. You can write that down. The size of your mountain, the size of your storm, the size of your care, problems, does not compare to the size of your God. That's it. God is bigger. You need to write this down somewhere and see it on a daily basis. Amen. Regardless, whatever is not bigger than our God. Our God is bigger. Yes, I mean, yes. I even printed it a little bit big, bigger than so you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's good to know it, but it's good to speak it out too. Yeah. Amen. Because the enemy, listen, your mind is busy 24-7. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> and you got to renew your mind with the word of God regardless it didn't say once once it once a, a day or once a week or once a month but as often as needed mm -hmm. you know the enemy is gonna put thoughts there you know yeah. and try to get you to do something and if you don't renew it you might fall but say no I don't receive that no I've confessed it it's not for me so I'm gonna press on mm -hmm. and so I'm not gonna be thinking those things anymore the devil will try to convince you that your struggle is bigger than your addiction. Oh boy! Is big that than your uh, so your struggle is bigger, mm -hmm. that your addiction is bigger, mm -hmm. that your circumstances is mm -hmm. bigger. Again, God. but God yes. is bigger. Amen. Thank you. Regardless of what the problem may be, mm -hmm. God is bigger. You know, if I confess it to Him, and you're still accusing me, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's too bad. Mm -hmm. Because I've already confessed. Yes. Amen. I got it. It's not mine anymore. It's mm -hmm. his. Amen. Yes. You know why? Because he's called us and we need to stay busy about the Father's business. Amen. 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 He made you a, a minister of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Going into the world every day. Bringing people to Christ. Sharing Jesus mm -hmm. with, it, with the world. 
Yeah. Uh, if you don't share Jesus with them, they'll share something with you. Mm. And it ain't going to be so nice. That's it. <laughs> and they'll tell you things mm. quick. And they don't hold back. Mm -hmm. Amen. And sometimes mm -hmm. believers are a little afraid to want to share. Well, I don't, or you don't uh, want people to know that you're a born again believer. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, let me see. I have a, I don't know if you can find it, Carmen. Go to one uh, about Jesus won full custody of you. Uh, not just that we can. Uh, Visits. Visits, you know. Yeah. It's, it's in there. Find it and bring it on. <clears throat> Let me uh, read this to you. It says, God is bigger, too. Mm. God is bigger than anything. Yeah. He's bigger than any mountain. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you, praise team. They sang it. Mm. And it goes like this. It says, bigger than any mountain, bigger than any problems, any fears, mm. God is bigger than any mountain that I can can or cannot see. Mm -hmm. Amen. Including spirit world. Yeah. Amen. Because it's the spirit world mm -hmm. where your problems are. Amen. Oh, Thank you. Gosh. There we go. Right there somewhere. <laughs> God wants full custody of his children, not just weekend visits. Uh -huh. You know, say, hey, I came to church on on Sunday. I was on Sunday. So I could be a full time sinner Monday through Saturday. <laughs> But on Sundays, I'm real holy, Jose. <laughs> no. He wants full custody. Mm -hmm. God wants full custody of his children. See? Mm -hmm. His children. Mm -hmm. You're a child of God. Yes. See yourself that way. Yes. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Mm -hmm. You're in the body of Christ. Yes. He's the head. We're the body. We're yes. his body. What is God? What, what is he going to use? He's going to mm -hmm. use his body. He's going to yes. use every one of us. Amen. And your call may be different than mine. Your gift is different than mine, but still we go into the world and share the good news. Amen. I mean, that world is full of bad news. Amen. But we can bring good news. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can bring a kind word. We can bring a smile. You know, show his love, his compassion. Yes. Amen. Amen. I say it over and over. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will never see, yes. hear, or or, or, or uh, read. Mm -hmm. So you're in. Mm -hmm. And he's using you. And guess what? You're fulfilling this. Yes. Amen. You're fulfilling this. And man, that is God. That that is great. Woo. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> he's bigger than uh all my question. He's bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain I can or cannot see. And just goes to you know, bigger than shadows, bigger than your path, mm -hmm. bigger than my confusion. Mm -hmm. He's bigger than my problems, my fears. Again, we we have to know this. If we didn't mention yours, he's bigger than whatever you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> so you can put it on there. Right. Bigger than anything. Anything covers any, mm -hmm. anything. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> make sure yours is covered because mm -hmm. the enemies don't come around and say, you know what? He didn't mention yours. <laughs> <laughs> yes he did he says anything anything it's all covered you know when jesus went to the cross he was mm -hmm. sacrificed yeah he was crucified and you know he said it is finished mm -hmm. it was complete yes he took it all yeah so he didn't he didn't forget something That's you it. know <laughs> you go somewhere and somebody's talking about i got a new word for you yeah <laughs> I got a new thing for you. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the word of God is, is the same. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Woo. He's bigger than your tires. You can ask David about this. Yeah. And you know what? David knew his God. Mm -hmm. He says, when I was in the fields, he says, he, he, he helped me with the lion. He helped me. He was there with the bear. And guess what? You, like David, go out into the world every day and you see giants. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Great is he that's in me than he that's in the world. My God goes with me. My God is in me. And all I need to do is get the word in me so I can speak the word. Speak the word against those giants. And you know what? David didn't cower down. David said, the Bible says David ran to his giant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ain't no match to my God. All we need to do is stand and press on. Amen. Press on. 
And that's right. He's bigger than all you giants. What giants do you have? Giant problems, giant cares, mm. habits, whatever it may be, drugs, uh, alcohol, mm. whatever, whatever it is. Amen. He's bigger than whatever giants are waiting you. Yes. Amen. Financial problems, keep going. Man, that's good. The giant in, in front of you is never bigger than the God inside of you. Ooh, man, this is this is this is this, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. That's what talks all about David. Mm -hmm. But David is yes, our, our great example to know, mm -hmm. regardless of how big your giant is. <coughs> my God is bigger. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you speak the word, that's big enough. That's good enough. Amen. What? seems impossible is possible through him because i'm speaking the word and you know it's possible through him mm -hmm. it's going to happen keep going mm -hmm. man these are good what yeah, you think are. these <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> here we go look at this it says don't tell your god how mm -hmm. it says don't uh don't tell god how big your storm is Tell your storm how big your God is. Uh -huh. Keep you go to the next one, Carmen. It tells you. There we go. See that one? Awesome. <laughs> says Jesus calmed the storm. Mm -hmm. They came woke him up. Mm -hmm. You know when he said we're going to the other side, mm -hmm. he already knew what was going to come up. Yeah, yeah. You know, on a daily basis, you know there's things going to yeah. come up. Yeah. But still, you know what? I'm strong in Him. I've got the full armor of God, and I'm going to press on regardless of what storms are coming against me. Giants, storms, whatever you want to call them. He went and calmed the storm. He spoke to it. What did He do? He spoke to it. And then He told us, where's your faith? Hmm. So now you got the word so you can calm those storms. All you need to do is speak the word. What did Jesus do? He spoke the word. Hmm. We need to do the same thing. Speak the word to it. That'll come, you know. It's a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, God is bigger than any problems, any storms. Keep going. Yeah. Jesus called the storm. Here we go. We talked about Jonah a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. He's a big fish, but guess what? He's a bigger God. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes we got to look at it like children. And we taught children for 30 something years. Mm -hmm. So, throw a few cartoons in there that'll make. <laughs> that will wake us up you know sometimes you got to think of it that way you know it's like wow big fish little little Jonah but still bigger God I mean hey we just want to pound this in man we want to get it yeah I've heard enough no we're going to get it praise God we have a bigger God you know regardless of what the problem is my God is bigger amen keep going your fight might be bigger than you but it's not bigger than God. Mm. Amen. It's not bigger than Him. That's it. We got to get this through. Our God is bigger. You know, regardless of what's coming against yes. you. Yes. Amen. Our God is bigger. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He's bigger than any mountain, any storm, any giant, cares, problems. Mm -hmm. Nothing compares to the size of your God. Mm -hmm. We need to know this. Amen. Amen. We need to know who's we are, and we need to know who's backing us. Amen. Because you know what? When the devil sees you, <laughs> he stays back. You know why? Because he sees Jesus. Mm -hmm. And what's coming out of you? The Word. Man, that's yeah. a that's a double whammy right there. He said, "Man, I don't want no part of this person anymore. I want no part of her. I don't want no part of him." Mm. Amen. Mm. Saying, so magnify God and not the problem. Yeah. We look at problems bigger than our God, and it's not that way. We gotta mm -hmm. get that, you know, backwards. We we gotta straighten this out. Mm -hmm. Magnify your God more than you magnify your problems, mm -hmm. and catch yourself. You know, catch yourself because you're the one that's speaking it. Mm -hmm. So it's time I start changing that. And you know, people get used to you saying those things. See. You know, immediately when you start changing these things, they'll say something different about you. Mm -hmm. You're not saying the things you used to say. You're not doing the things you used to do. Mm. You're not living the way you used to live. You know, you're not hanging out with us anymore. Mm. No. 
God's cleaning me. God's changing me. I'm changing. I'm changing. Huh? I'm, a, I'm, more, I'm, I'm a child of God. I can, I can be available for Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Man, these are good. God is bigger than every issue you will ever have to face. And you can do whatever you need to do through Christ who strengthens you. Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to confess that to ourselves on a daily mm -hmm. basis. I can, I can, yes. I can do all things through Christ. Yes. Because the world, Satan, is going to try to limit you yeah. all the time. I'm not good enough for that. You know, you may not be good enough, but you know, I'll call Brother Week anytime. Mm -hmm. He knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how to do everything. <laughs> Hallelujah, thank you. If I don't know, Lord, thank you for Brother Wick. <laughs> Hallelujah. Keep going. There you go. This you need. Mm. Let your faith be bigger oh, than your yes. fears. God is not giving you a spirit of fear. If you're walking in fear, it's not because God gave it to you. You know, God put it there to show you something. No, He didn't. Mm -hmm. He's not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and have a sound mind. We keep repeating that one, but if you're not walking, the more words you get in you, it's going to change you. And so when I'm walking out now, I'm going to walk out in faith and not fear. Mm -hmm. And fear is not going to limit me anymore. I'm not going to be afraid of that anymore. Why? Because <laughs> greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Amen? And I'm stepping out in faith because I have faith in God. Amen? And I'm, I can do all these things through him. Amen? I'm going to press on. I'm going to press on. I'm on. We're going to have an awesome time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, James 4, 7, says, 7 and 8 says, Therefore, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, he will flee from you. But, verse 8 says, draw near to God, and he yes. will draw near to you. Amen. Cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Amen. And the Amplified says this, submit to the authority of God, resist the devil, stand firm against him, and he will flee from you. Yes. And you know, he's got to go. Yes. He has no choice. He's got to honor the word of God. He's already a defeated foe. Jesus already defeated him. Mm -hmm. But you got to remind him. Say, when he reminds mm -hmm. you of all these negative things, you remind him of his That's future. It. That's <laughs> it. His future is back to hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay in hell. You know, for a thousand years, forever. Praise God. Yeah, I finish that. Come close to God with a contrite heart. Repentance, remorse, uh, apologetic, sorry, and you will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinner, and purify your unfaithful hearts, yes. you double-minded people. We don't have to be double-minded. We know what the Word says, so we can just stand on the Word. We're not going to be like the waves, you know, back and forth. Yeah. Back and forth, you know. No, yeah. we're going to be s s steady. We're going to be yeah. steady. Keep going. Boom. Oh. He ain't going to Jonah? Uh, no. <laughs> there it is. It's God. He's bigger than the boogeyman. Woo. I tell you what, when we was all growing up, everybody heard of the boogeyman. <laughs> I, st I still have Patricia walk with me. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go check the cars. Sure. I got to go check this. <laughs> Oh, Lord. God is bigger than your boogeyman. Whoever your boogeyman is, I don't know if you can see it, but Isaiah 41 and 10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Amen. He is with us. Yes. Amen. I say, oh, man, no. I know you were sitting there and saying, Hope you don't mention boogeyman. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is a, a, a boogeyman? <laughs> <laughs> but you know whatever the enemy is or comes against you whatever it is to you it's a boogeyman or whatever still God is bigger we just threw boogeyman in there just to kind of break the keep going <laughs> okay we got that go to the next one here we go everybody see this yeah do not be part time Christian mm -hmm. who demands a full-time God. Mm -hmm. We want him around all the time. 
but we're not being thankful mm -hmm. and we're not being full time. Mm -hmm. We're just halfway or we're just part time. Yeah. It's nothing about being part time. We want we need to be full time yeah. believers. Yeah. Amen. Because Thank you, Lord. Well, the next one, go to the next one. It says part time Christians don't match to a full time devil. The devil's consistent. You know why? He wants to take as many as possible with him to hell. Yes. Don't allow yourself yes, yes. to go to hell. The yes. choice is yours. He says you yes. need to confess with your mouth yes. the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you do, you can have salvation. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you can change that. Forget about who says what. Mm -hmm. Amen. Confess him as your Lord and Savior and you shall be saved. Yes. Don't pass it up. Amen. The time is getting closer and closer. Keep going. Look at this one. You can't have part-time faith. Expect and expect a full-time victory. Mm -hmm. Halfway, halfway, halfway. You know, if you're going to do your job, do a good job. Yeah. You know, I do certain jobs, you know, but... If I'm going to do my job, nobody's watching, but I expect, God expects me, and I, Lord, I'm doing this under you, and I'm going to do a good job for them. Mm -hmm. And I do. Amen? But don't have just part-time faith. Mm -hmm. Don't take advantage. Yeah. Amen? And then expect full-time victory. Yeah. I have full-time victory amen because i give my best yes. and i give it unto him and i do it unto him amen because the enemy is going to come and, and tell you you know it's not good enough nobody's watching everybody's doing it this way and everybody's cheating this way so why don't you do the same thing mm. no no nope. god knows amen yeah. keep going on. okay anyway Woo. Hallelujah. How are we doing? Are we done? Yep. Draw near to God. Draw near to our big God. Yes. And revival will come. What is revival? Revival is renewal, <laughs> rekindling, restoration, renovation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Reinforcing, mm -hmm. strengthening. Amen. That's on a daily basis is having revival in the things of God, you know. Hey, renewal, amen, and being encouraged. I mean, sometimes uh, you got to stir yourself up because nobody's going to stir you up. That's it. And you got to be encouraged. Yeah. If not, you know, if you start thinking all the cares of the world, you're going to think negative. Bible says in uh, in, in the Psalms 118, 24, it says, uh, this is the day the Lord has given you. That's it. Be glad. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So, enemy going to bring distractions? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to start thinking negative about this day because it's snowing, because it's raining, because it's too hot? No, I'm going to have victory over this because he says, uh, rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Mm -hmm. Amen. He woke me up, so now i got to yes. press on with the things of God. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Keep going, friend. Oh, uh, let me see. It says, Matthew 11, 28, 28 30 says, Come unto me, all you that are laboring and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. rest. Amen. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am not meek and lowly in heart. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and ye shall find rest on, uh, um, uh, unto your souls. Mm -hmm. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Let's remember this. Praise God. Well, and in closing, Amen. <laughs> praise God that you learned something. Yes. <laughs> and that's going too. For mm -hmm. the rising of the sun to the, until the going down the same of the same, mm -hmm. the Lord's name is to be praised. To be praised. Amen. All the time, all the time. James 4 7 says, Draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double minded. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And we're going to draw close to you that we may experience your happiness, your love, your power, and your blessings. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Did you get something? Yes. It blessed me. I don't know if it blessed you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord.
those of you that are watching and listening, if you haven't accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, now's the time. Even, even here, family, and, you know, if you've never accepted Christ, it's always the right time. Now's the time. You know, quit putting it off. Quit wasting time, you know, because the time is drawing closer and closer, you know. So, God has called you. He's got a call on your life. So, it's time to come to Him. All you need to do is say, Lord, I sin against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Confess it with your mouth. Amen. And he's gonna, you're going to be saved regardless of who says what. Regardless yes. of what you've done. That's right. Amen. Amen. Confess him. Amen. And be. let him be your Lord and Savior. And start, Amen. you know, hey, dust yourself. Get yourself up. And start Amen. pressing on with the things of God. Get yourself in a church where you can uh, uh, study the Word. Where you can uh, teach you the Word. You know, get your Bible and start reading the Word of God. And start confessing the Word on a daily basis. Amen. Mm -hmm. And press on with the things of God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If you have sickness in your body, <laughs> just speak to it. You know, because God is not giving you uh, sickness. Amen. He says, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. Yes. Amen. So anything, any malfunctions in my body, I just confess the Word of God over it. Yes. You know why? Because... He's created you to be healthy. He's created these things to function perfectly in Jesus' name. So body, function normal in Jesus' name. Function perfectly the way God created you to function in Jesus' name. So I speak to this body, and body, I receive my healing right now in Jesus' name. That's all you got to say. I receive Jesus' healing in my body in Jesus' name. Amen. So be healed and not sick. Thank you, Lord. And in giving, uh, go to our website, nbcvigben.com, and uh, push that donate button. And if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And if, uh, now you can do Cash App at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Yeah, thank, you, thank you for your giving. God bless you. And uh, know that Jesus no, loves you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. <laughs>